So dopamine is a very interesting neurotransmitter. And uh, what's really unique about it, it's a handful of neuromodulators, uh, which are special in the sense that uh, their neurons, their, the source of the signal, is localized to specific brain areas. And from these brain areas, they project all across the brain. Uh, there's a handful of other ones like serotonin, acetylcholine. Um, and these are very interesting because you can think of them as broadcast systems. Some small area, uh, functionally uh, computing something very simple, perhaps can send this information across the brain. And uh, we understand a lot about dopamine. Uh, it turned out to be incredibly interesting. And there is a very simple uh, summary of what we understand about dopamine, which is that these neurons are active uh, when your expectations are violated. They suddenly send a burst of dopamine when you're expecting something and you're not getting it. And if you think about it, this is exactly the right kind of signal for learning. If you're expecting something and you're getting it, there's nothing to change about your behavior. Whereas if you're expecting something and you're not getting it, uh, and you have a burst of dopamine, now it's a great signal for learning. So addiction is really interesting. Uh, it turned out that essentially all of the addictive drugs that we know of end up activating uh, the dopamine circuitry. They end up releasing dopamine. So an emerging idea is that what, what happens during addiction is that you have a normal computational process uh, whereby dopamine sends signals out uh, precisely what's the degree to which you violated your expectations, and that allows you to precisely learn uh, in proportion to, to, uh, to what you need to. Um, and on top of this, uh, an addictive drug ends up releasing extra dopamine. So what happens is that when you get those drugs, you might feel happy. Um, but say you're happy about uh, a great uh, chocolate ice cream. Over time, you learn to expect that the chocolate ice cream is really great, and you have no more dopamine released in expectation of that when you receive it. Whereas if you take an addictive drug, you can never learn to expect it because the drug itself will release an, release an extra kick of dopamine. And when that happens, uh, the value of that drug keeps increasing because now you're learning that, wow, my violations were ex uh, my expectations were violated. Therefore, uh, this must be much more valuable than what I thought before. Um, so basically what ends up happening, the dopamine system gets hijacked by these drugs. So it's the normal process of learning uh, that gets hijacked by addictive drugs. Mm -hmm.